Hey guys, this is Kelsey. Um, this is just going to be a quick video um, on how to properly print inkjet shrinky dinks. Um, if you're not familiar with shrinky dinks, they are a plastic that when you put in the oven and they shrink, um, you can use them to make numerous little goodies here. Um, but these are actually going to be for my uh, some products in my Etsy store. Um, you can find me on Etsy, um, The Wayward Geek. Um, I might put a link in the description. Um, but anyway, back to what we're doing here. Um, some people I know have problems printing with these things because it can be a little confusing. So what I've done is I've taken some graphics I've done and I've put them into a paint um, paint window. <clears throat> um, if you have, what you want to make sure your uh, to format properly, um, mess with your page setup. Um, you want to make sure it's not centered or uh, the margins are not too large. Um, so this will help you <clears throat> format all you. All, all, it helps you visualize how your stuff is going to print. In other programs, I have a hard time really getting a feel of how it's going to look. Um, <clears throat> and paint works good. I mean, you just need to move around images. But the actual graphics are not made in paint. I use um, a program called GIMP. Um, and you will need another program to besides paint to get this done because you have to do something to the images before you, you print them. When you print these images, they will shrink, and when they shrink in the oven, they will get darker. So for colors, you want to make sure you lighten your colors before you print. Otherwise, colors that are already dark are going to print even darker, and it might end up just looking black. Um, it will not look appealing, and you won't get those nice, vibrant colors. <clears throat> so my computer screen isn't the best, but these are actually lighter than what they look. <clears throat> um, you could actually see this is a... I've already printed these, so this is actually how they look. Um, so I'm actually, I'm really happy with how these look. Um, I only do this for colors, though. I don't do this for black. You can. However, when I want my, my items shrunk, I want a really nice, dark black. Um, so I don't do this for black. So these have not been lightened. However, these guys have. <clears throat> um, I, I, again, I do this in GIMP, and you just put the brightness up by about 50%. Or until if, if you think it still looks too dark after that, um, you can lighten it some more. Um, but it's really just making sure you, your items don't shrink too dark. Um, so you also want to make sure because these um, these guys these my um, shrinky dinks I get them at Michaels. I've actually tried looking online and I actually cannot get them much cheaper than what they retail for at Michaels. And I am like very good at finding cheap things online. That's what I do. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but I have not been able to find these guys really cheap. They are expensive. Um, they run about $13, um, at Michael's. However, I use a 40 or 50% off coupon when I purchase them. So that gets them much cheaper, which is very helpful. <clears throat> but yeah, these guys are about double, um, or triple the times price of what it costs for the regular shrinky dinks. Um, these guys are just specially made so the ink, um, will print properly. <clears throat> um, but yeah, you really do need to use the inkjet shrinky dinks if you are printing shrinky dinks because the other ones, they do not work very well. Um, but what we, so we have this done. Um, what you want to make sure you do before you print anything is to make sure your printer is printing properly because you do not want to end up printing on these paper, on these expensive pieces of plastic and then having your printer screw up. So I would always recommend doing a test print on just regular computer paper. <clears throat> and then when you are ready to print, make sure your printer is properly set to the correct um, paper type. Um, with my printer, this is an Epson um, WF2540. Uh, I have to choose um, photo paper. However, we'll say in your packet over here in the set printer settings, it will tell you what you need to most likely change your photo to. Um, this just helps the printer not smear the ink. Um, I remember the first time I did this, I forgot to set the printer settings and I ruined a completely good piece of um, plastic because it smeared. <clears throat> and you will see the smears when it shrinks, they will, will be there and they are not fun. So make sure you choose the proper um, paper settings. So um, I hope that helped anyone who might be having problems. Um, again, this is the one, this is what I printed here. Uh, these will be some pins. I think these are going to be earrings, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these. But um, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, feel free to 
leave a feel free to leave a comment. I will try to get back with you if I can. Um, also, I'll, again, I'll post a link to my shop below. So I hope everyone has a great day.